Hi everyone, this is John from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with a vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals. And for that, we keep making videos on different software. So, what are we going to learn today? Today, we will learn how to do the column positioning in a G plus one building. So, I have a plan of G plus one building. This is our ground floor plan. And over here, you can see our first floor plan. So these are the two architectural plans without any column over here. So over here, you can also see the walls. Then we have another plan over here with the beam markings in it. So we will learn what are the things that we need to take care while marking the beams and the columns in a plan. So we will start now. So there are a few points that we should consider or you can also call this basic guidelines. So the first point is for every 80 to 100 square feet, we can have one column. That means in an area of 80 square feet to 100 square feet, we must have a column. Second, the alignment of the column should be same. That means if one column is placed over here, then another one should be placed over here and not at this place. Uh, let me show it to you how you can do that. Suppose you are placing a column, then another column should be placed in the alignment of this one. That means you can place that over here so this is the correct place but if you are placing it somewhere at this place then that will not come in alignment with this column so this is the wrong position so we need to learn what is the right position for the column okay and we will work in the same way so now our plan is over here so we'll move to the third point and our third point is the column should be placed between 5 feet to 16 feet so we need to consider the distance between two columns first point was related to the area and the third point is related to the distance between two columns so we must consider that then the fourth point is the position of the beam should be taken into consideration. That means if you are placing a beam over here, then you can't place a column over here at the center or at some random place like here. You can't place a column like this. You need to consider the position of the beams. Then our fifth point is the columns should be placed on all corners of the staircase or lift. That means if you are having a staircase or lift over here, then you must provide four columns at the four corners of the staircase or lift. And the sixth and the last point is we must consider the aesthetic view of the column positioning so if you are uh, placing a column somewhere then we must try to hide it in the walls or somewhere in the rooms that are not visible to the members of the family or the guests that are entering your residential space okay so that way you can position the columns so i have already explained the six points that are important for the column positioning now let's see how you can do it. So this is our ground floor plan. So we will start the column positioning for the first floor plan. Why? Because we have number of walls over here and using these walls, we can simply mark the beams. Okay. And the columns will be from the ground floor to the top floor. So we will get better positions if you are marking the columns in the first floor plan. So let's see the beam marking first. So over here you can see the walls then you will have to mark the beams first and for that you can join these walls then we will join a beam from here to here and these two beams will be joined 
so we need to do the beam marking first okay so we will start with the beam marking over here you can see we have connected all the walls and finally we have got the beam markings like this okay i'm just demonstrating it so that we can save the time otherwise it is very easy to draw the beams so we have connected this line then we have connected this line and similarly we have connected all the lines and mark the beams like this now after your beam marking is completed we can simply go for the column positioning now in the column positioning we need to take care of all the points that are there so this is the beam column positioning so guys today we have learned how to position the column theoretically and in the next session we will learn how to do it practically in autocad so till then if you have liked this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel also if you want to join our live online classes then you will get a link in the description all you have to do is to just click on that link which will redirect you to this google form you have to just fill your details over here and i will personally give you a call we will meet with the same topic in the next video till then take care bye bye